you're not helping anybody. Right and you're now. not getting there any faster. Exactly. You're just going to be stuck in traffic when you get to the end of the shoulder. So anyway, just I'm off my soapbox now. Okay. Hi, morning. girl. Good morning. Hi. So Hi, we've everyone. got a super cool topic this morning. Yes. Oh, this is my favorite thing. Elena, I love a graphic print in a space. And a lot of times um, when you have a temporary space, like an apartment or whatever, and you can't do anything really crazy or do a lot of paint, I love adding a little graphic touch, like a stripe. And there's a lot of really cool things you can do once you've mastered the technique of striping. Okay. So I wanted to showcase this. I couldn't bring in a whole wall, so I brought in a display wall. So this is kind of to, to symbolize a, a plain a plain wall. white wall. And, and and it's important to know that when you're painting a stripe or any, any graphic print that using the right uh, materials is very important because ah. you cause yourself a lot of drama if you don't use the appropriate materials. So one of my favorite products is this frog tape. It's amazing. It really saves you a lot of time because if you tape well, you don't have to paint well. So that's something to remember. But the frog tape is a really important product. Um, it's, it's made especially for this kind of uh, application. So I love it. I really do. I love it a lot. So what you want to do when you're taping a stripe is first you want to map out your design. So if you want to do a vertical stripe, um, uh, you know, kind of measure it out, think about the stripes, you know, plan for it first, that's important. And then once you've taped, I'm just going to give a quick little installation here. Once you've taped and got your stripes and your whole pattern together, I'm going to give you a couple pieces here just so you can kind of see it. And the cool thing about it is it's supposed to come off easily as yes. well, right? Yes, that's, that's why I love the frog tape. Like the blue masking tape is great. Um, I've actually used a little bit myself, but I'm, I'm master of this, so it's okay. <laughs> but, uh, but the frog tape was a great beginner product, and actually, it's a great product in general. Okay. Okay, so what I like to do is I use my, my sponge roller. Now, this, this roller is important because it doesn't take a lot of paint on it like a traditional roller would, so it'll let you apply the, the, the paint evenly uh, and, and thin, So because you want to layer it up. It's, you can always add more. It's like salt in a recipe. You can always add more, but you can't take away. So okay. Remember that. <laughs> so when you get this, what I like to do first is I take my paint, whatever I've dipped it in, and I roll from the out of the tape in first, right? Because what you, and same on the other side. What that does is it's going to create a skin, and it won't let the paint bleed underneath the, the, um, the tape. So oh, that's good a good thing. Once you've done that, then you can just paint away, get, get as much uh, saturation as you want to. And then um, when you're ready to open it, here's what you get, consistent stripes. Now, I've left one stripe here, so I wanted to demonstrate for you how to remove the tape, because that can often be just as important. So when you take off the tape, you want to pull it at like a 45 degree angle. Do you see how clean? That is so cool. That looks, yeah, it's so much clearer. And then if you need to touch up, you can just go in with a little brush. But if you just rip it off like this, you're going to probably take off some of the skin okay. along with the siding. So you want to rip it off at like a 45. So see how I'm just pulling Oh, that's so to smart. The right? Yeah, okay. exactly. And that helps out. So remember, it's going to look ugly, okay, before it looks pretty. Finish. And then 45. And, and 45. we've got some uh, examples of some of your work Please. that feature stripes. Let's see it. Yeah. And gorgeous. And I never fun. think to do that. It's so easy. I love that. Isn't that cool? Oh, I love that one. Yeah, and you can do so many different things. You can make it your own. You can um, really pull together. There's the nursery I did. I love, love, love that look. It's so easy. And if you mess it up, you can just paint over it and do it again. Awesome. There's another nursery I love. Nurseries. <laughs> so, um, frog tape. Frog tape is the bomb. The bomb. Okay, cool. Well, Lauren, uh, you can find her online, and also uh, you've got your own website. Yeah. www.laurenmac. That's with two k's. dot com. Okay. Or you can call the studio eight zero eight seven four four. 3814. Wonderful. Thanks for joining Thank us. Thank you. Okay, well, coming up, it's another slap in the face for Lance Armstrong. Wait till you hear what one library down under has done. It's interesting. It's, it's, it's appropriate, though. We'll be right back on Wake Up Today. This portion of KHON2 News is sponsored by Lanakila Pacific. This shirt will carry your logo.